There are a variety of ways you can break a WordPress site. This is just one of them, uh, but a common error message, the site is experiencing technical difficulties. If you don't know how to debug in WordPress, that can be really frustrating. So quickly, we'll go over how you do that. Um, so if I come over here, this is the WP config for this site. And you'll notice there is, it might look a lot different than yours, because um, this is from a very old version of WordPress, but how I set up debugging in WordPress is I define a constant called WP underscore debug. And by default, WordPress will have that value as false. Make sure you have include the semicolon. And if you make it true, what'll happen by default is that you can see on your page where the error is. So I can see syntax error, unexpected H3 on line 35 of index.php for my theme. And there on line 35, I can see a JK. Um, somewhat obvious typo, but when you don't know where that typo is or where, you know, more esoterically, where that plugin has gone wrong or something like that, it can be super helpful to know how to turn on WP Debug. It is worth knowing. Uh, let me save that and upload it again. And that fixes my site, I believe. Yep, I'm all set. Um, so. This is the basic way that you debug in WordPress, is this WP debug. There are a couple options you can include here. You can make it write to a log file instead of showing it on the screen. You can have it write to the log file and show on the screen, those kinds of things. But WP debug, turning it off and turning it on by changing the value between true and false is really, really crucial to being a good WordPress developer. It's like the start of understanding how WordPress works and understanding where all those PHP errors come from. Cheers.